Hey guys, what's going on? Well, I'm headed to work. That's right. So, you guys gotta join me. As you know, I also do a podcast called Johnny Nomad Presents, and I love it. It's amazing. I love the people I get to interview. So this is gonna be behind the scenes of what it takes to do your thing when you can't do the thing you love full time yet. We all have that. We all go through that. So um, you're gonna join me. I'm gonna take you to work with me, and um, can't show you everything at work because you know, I don't know if certain people get upset. Of course, we're working, but um, we're gonna do some things together. Work on some stuff. Use our time wisely. That's the biggest thing. You can't stop just because you have to work. 12-hour shift. Still got to grind. They're gonna do it right now. So come with me, folks. Yeah, you have to work on. If you're gonna be working, like writing, podcasting, making a YouTube channel, whatever you're doing, that you know that you really want to focus on, you got to go at it a thousand percent all the time. You just can't half-ass it. So come along for the ride, people. Alright guys, well, I'm here at work. So, you guys came along with me. Let's uh, get this open. So, with that being said, you have to ensure that you're doing your thing. Plan your day out. Plan your lunch out. Where the hell are you going, right? And depending where you're headed to, as you commute for work, what can you do? Are you on public transportation? Are you driving? These are questions you have to ask yourself and see what can you do. All right, guys, quick items that I go through all the time that I think can help you guys out too, okay? So as I go through my podcast and I'm also trying to, to, to post on, on IG, um, editing for YouTube, you name it, these are things I'm doing on top of me working a full-time job, 12-hour shift, just like the normal job, right? Time. What time do you have to work on your craft and your passion and your purpose? What time is that? What does that look like for you? This time there, you have to carve it out, folks. There's nothing else that you can't do about it. You have to carve time out. Once you carve the time out, you're going to be amazed about how much time you actually have, okay? I know you have kids. I know they have extracurricular activities after school. And then you got to make them dinners and snacks and whatnot and appointments too. You have to carve time out. You have to. If you have a partner, they got to support you. If you're by yourself, you got to make some shit happen. Plain and simple. Schedule. Once you figure out the time that you have, schedule it. Write it down. Make sure it's on purpose timing. Make sure it's for you to understand that this time that you scheduled is for you. Someone calls you, you don't got time for that shit. You have time for what you scheduled. That way it's on purpose and it's meaningful because you know you have to execute that shit. Because what? Time is of the essence, right? These two coincide with one another. They have, they have to. You got to figure out what this is, and then from there, schedule that time. Then you got to fucking take action, folks. You can do this all damn day. You can be dreaming, right? And dreaming is great. You're overthinking. What the fuck is this about, people? You got to take action. This fucking pen doesn't fucking work. So, you got to take action. Take action, folks. Take the time to schedule what you have to get done. If you're going to write that book, how many hours? I'm sorry. Make that how many words you want to write. Right? Take the action. Let's say you're trying to be a YouTuber. What does that mean for you as far as recording? You have to look at your recording outside, inside. 
what does your set look like? You have to get things ready. Make sure lighting is correct. You want not just do shit and take action on shit. You want to make sure it's quality action. You want to make sure that your product is great and is good, right? Document. What does that mean, document? Document what the fuck you did. Put it on your calendar. Take an audit. Every day when you do something or don't do anything, okay? Every day for a month, do that. I want you to write down, I succeeded. I did it. Or, I failed. I didn't do shit today, yesterday, and the day before. At the end of the month, what I want you to do is take an audit and tally success and failures. How many days did you succeed on your plan? Let's say you did 17 days here. Let's say you only failed five, or let's say it's vice versa. That's accountability. You keep yourself accountable saying, damn, I did well last month, I could push out more. Or I fucked up last month, I need to do some more. I can't blame nobody but myself because of it. I'm amped up, I'm, I'm happy for you people. I'm glad that you figured out what you wanna do or you're in the process of figuring that out. But you have to get things in order. You see a lot of these fucking people out there selling these fucking webinars and shit, and they tell you a bunch of fucking nothing. I'm gonna do this for free. I'm gonna give this all the information that I'm learning for you to just do it. So you're gonna win with me, we're gonna win together, right? I could probably put this on a webinar. Absolutely, why wouldn't I? But for what? I'm gonna put this on in YouTube. So you have access for it, access to it all the time. These are the things you wanna focus on right now. Time, schedule, action, document. And we go on to the next phase of items. But your, your product that you're working on, the quality of the product that you're working on. If you're trying to be a YouTuber, um, a vlogger, what equipment do you need? How much money do you spend? What do you use first? Right, right now I'm using a GoPro with no mic. Just got the GoPro. Had, I have a DSLR that I use for a YouTube channel, for my YouTube channel, and we have that for the past few years now, working on that, have a road mic and everything. The GoPro is my test. I invested in myself again to up, level up my, my equipment, level up my content to see what can we get. It's a constant reinvention and an investment into yourself. Right, so time, schedule, take action, document. People, come on. We have to, we have to do this. I know it's like a fucking mess. You know why it looks like a fucking mess? This represents how the fuck you think. This represents exactly how you're thinking. You're not in order like this here. You're not. You're thinking all this shit right here. There's this, all this big fucking clusterfuck. And it's okay. I think the same way too. All of us do. Because we're confused. We're scared. We want, it. we want stuff, right? We want to have ambition and take, take items in our hands. But we just don't know how. Right? Before there was YouTube, there was libraries. And the, the people who figured out how to ask questions and how to network won. Now it's time for you to do the same exact thing. To network and win. And use these steps right here. So we're gonna probably go more in depth in the next video as far as how exactly this should look like. You can draw up anything, you can, use, you can put this in an Excel spreadsheet, you can put this in a planner, you can, you can put it in your phone, it doesn't really matter how you document it, as long as you do. And so maybe we'll go ahead and, and break that down for you even more as we go into it. But guys, girls, everyone, let's take a hold, let's take a stand, let's take, a deep breath. And let's really get our thoughts together, put some action behind it, and see the results. Every day is a test for me to see what works. Every day is something that I have to challenge myself on. I'm not good at time management, but I've had to learn how to do that at work. And now I've put certain things into place that keep me going. So I'm going to do the same with you. You see, I'm hyped up. I'm freaking sweating here. I'm hyped up. 
This is exciting. Let's do it, folks. Johnny Nomad presents Masterclass. See you.